Now, we want to update you on the latest numbers of COVID-19 throughout the state. 25 News reporter Sydney Eisenberg joins us live from the coronavirus tracker desk. Naya, three days after Attorney General Ken Paxton issued guidance saying that local health authorities could not close schools as a way to prevent COVID-19, Governor Greg Abbott issued a statement effectively agreeing, but both did say that there are conditions in which schools can be closed. Now, the governor said that health authorities could not close schools weeks before reopening. However, they could apply for waivers to remain closed beyond the state's eight-week maximum. The TEA would then review the requests on a case-by-case -case basis. There are 420,000 COVID-19 cases in Texas. An estimated 141,000 are active, or roughly 273,000 have recovered. 6,500 Texans have died from the virus, with 295 deaths reported today. Closer to home, there are 4,300 total COVID-19 cases in McLennan County. Bell County officials report 3,300, while the state, which includes Fort Hood and its count, reports 3,400. Brazos County has 3,800 total cases. In the surrounding counties, Milam has 306 cases, Robertson has 217, and Lampasas has 175. Now, Bell County has seen the largest case count jump this week with 354 new cases since Monday. McLennan County reported 284 new cases this week, followed by Brazos County at 130. Central Texas as a whole has seen 955 new cases since Monday. Breaking the numbers down, roughly 1,800 cases are active in McLennan County with 2,400 recoveries. Bell County has 1,400 actives and 1,800 recoveries. Brazos County reports 564 active cases. 3,200 people have recovered. Live from the Coronavirus Tracker Desk, Sydney Eisenberg, 25 News.